Around 13 billion years ago, one of the first stars in the universe collapsed into a black hole, releasing a flash of light of unprecedented power. This light traveled through the expanding universe, past the first galaxies, then drifted through the ages, all the way to us. And on the 14th of March, 2025, the space-based multiband astronomical variable objects monitor, SVOM satellite, captured it. The Nordic Optical Telescope, as well as the Neil Garrell Swift Observatory and the Einstein Probe Satellite, pointed their instruments at the source and pinpointed its location. Einstein Probe's observations even confirm the transient nature of the optical counterpart, a key clue in favor of a gamma ray burst. Around 17 hours after the SVOM alert, the spectrum was acquired by the Very Large Telescope VLT and the Grand Telescopio Canarius. Here's the sequence of near-infrared images acquired in different filters, from short to long wavelength. Focusing on the center of each image, it's evident that the optical counterpart is absent in the Z band and not in the other three bands. Distant objects have their short wavelength light absorbed, while longer wavelengths survive. This was a sign that the gamma ray burst could be one of the very first stars in the universe to collapse into a black hole. The James Webb Telescope confirmed that the gamma ray burst was indeed generated by a supernova. It was a Type 1 C core collapse supernova. Its redshift is 7.3. This means that the light travel distance was 13.073 billion light years. The light from this gamma ray burst was emitted when the universe was only 727 million years old, compared with the 13.8 billion years old it is now. This was the fifth most distant gamma ray burst ever detected, and the furthest ever supernova. Since this is the earliest, farthest supernova to be detected to date, researchers compared it to what they know about modern, nearby supernova. They found them to be quite similar. So, it may well be that the mechanisms and stars that give rise to gamma ray bursts now are the same as those created all the way back to the beginning. While a gamma ray burst typically lasts for seconds to minutes, a supernova rapidly brightens over several weeks before it slowly dims. In contrast, this supernova brightened over months because its light was stretched as the cosmos expanded over the 13 billion years it took to get here. As light is stretched, so is the time it takes to see events to unfold. Using this information, Webb's observations were intentionally taken three and a half months after the gamma ray burst ended, since the underlying supernova was expected to be brightest at that time. 